four years ago, if you guys told me that I'd be able to shoot 4K video with 60 frames a second with HDR capabilities, I think you're out of your mind. But today, that is exactly what I'm going to be talking about. So this is my iPhone 12 Pro camera review. So I've had this phone for a couple of days now, and as you guys saw in the beginning of this video, I've had the opportunity to test out some of this phone's low light video capabilities. And to sum it up, I'm actually extremely impressed. In today's video, I just really want to hone in on how well the camera performs in low light situations, how stable is the camera without any type of gimbal, and just how useful is the HDR Dolby Vision functionality. All right, so now let's talk about low light. As you guys can see in this example clip right here, there isn't a ton of light lighting up this area. I shot this in a really dark alley at almost 12 a.m. in the morning. There's two wall lights behind the car, the headlights of the car, and also two wall lights behind me lighting up pretty much the entire scene. Overall, I think the iPhone did a pretty good job exposing for this scene. I shot this in 4K video at 60 frames a second with the new HDR capabilities. Zooming in here on the little details, you can see a lot of the details on the floor. You can see the leaves that have fallen down on the ground. You can see the wet pavement. You can see like the little rips in my friend's jeans. And I think overall, this is a really clean piece of video. Moving on to the next example clip, as you guys can see here, I wanted to get the blue and orange reflection on the sewer cover as the car drove by. And once again, I think the iPhone did a good job exposing for the highlights and shadows. There's a good balance between the two and the details as the car drives by, I think on the sewer cover is phenomenal. Like I didn't expect this level of detail to come out of an iPhone camera, especially you know when the lighting isn't even that great. All right, so now here is an example where the iPhone didn't really do a good job exposing for the shot. So I was shooting some rollers on my friend's car, and as you guys can see here, the headlights of the cars are way overexposed. At first I thought it was because of the low angle, but when I got home to review some of the footage, I remember the first example that I showed you guys, it was also an extremely low angle. So I wasn't quite sure why the iPhone was overexposing that much, but I'm not complaining that much because I was able to combat this issue just by moving my camera a little bit higher up and also getting a very similar shot. So stability wise for the iPhone 12 Pro camera, it's pretty stable. Like a gimbal is definitely not necessary to take really high quality video. However, I have a lot of experience shooting handheld footage, even with professional cameras, like the camera I'm shooting this on, I don't really like to use a gimbal. I feel like the setup is just too much. So I like to shoot a lot of my bureau handheld. And with that being said, I've have, I have a lot of experience just you know, finding ways to anchor the phone and using the weight of my body to kind of get the smooth result of the shot. So if you guys aren't too experienced with shooting really smooth handheld bureau, I think your footage might be a little bit shakier than mine, but overall, I think the iPhone does a pretty good job stabilizing the shot. And just, you know, some really quick tips of how to shoot really smooth handheld bureau is, the first one I use all the time is holding the camera with two hands really close to my body and it's kind of crouching a little bit. This will kind of bring some of your body weight closer to the ground and you walk really slowly and then just kind of roll your heel to the front of your foot. It just kind of, your body just kind of moves like with the floor and then, you know, like you, you can pan just really smoothly that way. Especially if you're shooting at 60 frames a second, you can slow that down at about 50% slap on like a post-production stabilizer and the final shot is mint. All right, so now let's talk about HDR Dolby Vision. If you guys don't know what HDR stands for, it stands for high dynamic range. And to sum it up, it allows the iPhone to film with more defined contrast. So a lot of the shadows are much darker. A lot of the highlights are a little bit brighter. You know, the colors are much richer and there's a much wider color range. The good thing about this is that it enables us creators to have much more flexibility in post-production. Now, with that being said, at the time of filming this video, many of the professional software I use to edit videos aren't actually compatible with the new iPhone 12 HDR Dolby Vision metadata. So unfortunately, I can only show you guys some of the basic editing in the built-in editing app of the new iPhones. So here I have this footage of my friend getting into this car. As you guys can see in the top left-hand corner, it says HDR. So this means that this video was shot in the new HDR. And you just press edit on the top right corner. This UI is really familiar, right? So this is the exact same UI as if you were editing a regular iPhone picture. As you can see here, this is the scrub to kind of go through your footage. You can crop the footage with the arrows. 
Moving one icon to the right, this is where you edit like the exposure, the brightness, the contrast, highlights, shadows, everything like that. So I want to bring up the shadows a little bit in this footage. So you just go to my shadows tab, just bring it up slightly, maybe by 50. And just to show you guys, you know, let's just put on a LUT. Going one more icon to the right, uh, I think I like this one, dramatic cool. I think that's a little bit too much, so I'm just gonna bring it down a little bit to about, let's say, yeah, 50% looks good to me. And then moving one more icon to the right, this is where you actually strain your footage. I think I'm pretty happy with the footage as it is, so I'm not gonna change anything here. And then just press done. And then you guys can see in the bottom left-hand corner, it says preparing video. This is just, you know, just kind of processing everything, all of the changes that you did to the video. This usually takes about 30 seconds to a minute. But yeah, so once it's done preparing, as you guys can see here, if you scroll up through the video, you guys can see that I brought up the shadows a little bit, and I also have the dramatic cool light applied onto this video. So that's basically just how you edit HDR footage that you shoot on the iPhone right now. And if you guys don't like the changes that you made, it's really easy to get them back to original. Just press the edit button again, Press revert, revert to original, and here you have your original video that you shot. So that's going to be my iPhone 12 Pro Filmmakers review. If you guys have any questions about this device, just leave a comment in the section down below and I'll try my best to answer to all of your guys' questions. If you guys aren't already, make sure you guys check out my Instagram. I'm posting there almost every single day. And if you guys enjoyed the content that you saw here today, I think you'll definitely like the content I'm posting there. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. Make sure you guys subscribe if you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys next week with a brand new video.